Irish whiskies are traditionally distilled three times. When you distill something three times, you get a much more light, uh, cleaner, elegant spirit. Um, it also gives you some versatility to work with and play with. So when you drink an Irish whiskey, you don't want to expect anything overly robust. They tend to be lighter, crisper, cleaner. When you read a, an Irish whiskey label, good luck. When you read a label, even if you see it in script or fancy writing or something that looks like you shouldn't have to pay attention to it, read it anyway. And that's how you're going to learn. All right. So here we say in very, very fine print, a harmonious blend of traditionally uh, matured old Irish whiskey and a unique virgin oak matured rich pot still whiskey. So basically what they're trying to tell you is there's some grain whiskey over on this side and then over here they're saying they're, they're putting the portion of the pot still whiskey in a virgin oak barrel which is going to give it a much stronger uh, vanilla influence. Now you go over here you know, to make matters even more confusing, this is Bushmill 1608. About all it says on the label is that it's an anniversary edition, triple distilled, uh, triple distilled in pot stills. I don't think you can get in there, but there are three pictures of a pot still. And distilled with crystal malt for exceptional smoothness. Um, but it also says finest blended Irish. And that blended is going to indicate that there, there is, in fact, grain whiskey in it. But they also have this. Bushmills 10 year old single malt. Single malt is all barley. You see triple distill on there and it says matured in two woods. Okay, but they don't tell you which two woods. So your chances are you're going to be using a used bourbon cask and probably some used sherry. This is a blended Irish whiskey, a super premium Irish whiskey. This is the, the Colonel of the Irish Whiskey Army. This is the 2008. Okay. And they're going to tell you again on the back label, 2008. That means if you get something from 2007, where you've been drinking this for a number of years, as I have, don't always expect the same identical thing year to year. Things do change. Uh, and that's specifically why they put that, that date on the label. As much as you kind of want to geek out and know exactly what you're drinking and everything else, the truth of the matter is, is you better taste it first. Uh, because if you don't like the way it tastes, what it says on the label or what it says on their websites is going to be completely, completely useless to you. I guess when you look at Irish whiskey, um, if everybody could just do me a favor and realize that Irish whiskey is not a shot to a company of Guinness. They're the ones who got us the world to drink whiskey. They've done so much for the whiskey drinking world that to look at it now as a sideline to a to St. Patrick's Day debauchery is, makes me cry a little bit. So do me a favor, you know, just have a, have a glass and, and realize that uh, this is amongst everything else, one of the few things that uh, my people have done well.